I just want to take a couple moments and share with you the importance of knowing your why. And one of the misconceptions that we have when it comes to doing things, getting stuff done, accomplishing a task, or whatever it may be, knowing your why is the most important thing that you can do as a person, as a leader, in any position that you're in, is knowing and understanding your why. And when it comes to approaching something that you wanna do, something you wanna accomplish, we usually start with the what. What am I going to do? And we'll be thinking about it. What do I wanna do? Okay, I want to sell coffee. I wanna make a video. I want to be a teacher. Whatever it is, we start with a what. What do I wanna do? And then from there, from that what, we go to the how. Now, how are we going to accomplish the what? So we go from the inner circle of what to the how. What do I wanna do? I wanna be a teacher. Now, how do I do that? Well, I gotta go to school. Uh, if I wanna start a business, now I have to put the plans into place. And then we get to the usually the last circle, which is the why. Why am I doing it? Well, I wanna help kids you know, learn, or I want to make money for myself. But that is not the best way, I think, to approach life or approach anything that involves any type of leadership, whether it's your family, your career. That why has to become the center. If we can get the why to a center, now that changes why am I doing it, validating your how and your what, it now becomes your center of purpose. When you're able to answer that question of purpose, why am I here? Because I'm here to make a difference in people's lives. There's my why. I'm here to make a difference in people's lives. Now from that why question, I'm able to go to the how. How am I going to accomplish my why? Why am I here? To make a difference in people's lives. How am I going to do that? Well, today it's making a video and explaining this concept. Whatever it is for you, now your how is revolved around your why, keeping you focused on that vision. Now it goes to what? What am I going to do? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna make a video. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna become a teacher. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna become a coach. What am I gonna do? you fill in the blank, now your what is focused around your how you're going to do it. For me, my why is to make a difference in people's lives. How am I going to do that? I'm gonna use the gifts and talents that I have as an individual, as God made me, to accomplish that goal, that why of making a difference in people's lives. Now, I do that primarily through communication. Now, that takes me to the what. What am I going to do to accomplish that how? Well, today it's making a video that hopefully you're gonna grab something from this and it's gonna be able to be something that you implement into your life. Or for me, my what is through speaking on a stage. It's sitting down with somebody one-on-one -on -one and mentoring them or talking with them, having a conversation with them, encouraging them. I, my what is now the parameter, the last thing that I do of helping keep that focus of how I'm accomplishing the goal of like encouraging people, making a difference in their life. So that's the difference between having your center being your what you do with the how to the why. It keeps you focused with vision and clarity and purpose being the center behind everything that you do. Everything you do comes from your why when it's in the center. Why am I here? How am I going to accomplish that? And what am I going to do? So I hope that this was helpful for you and you're able to kind of go from here and really think about your why. Why are you here? I know that there's a reason and a purpose for you being here and the rest of the world is just waiting for you to live out your why because we need to experience the how and the what that you're gonna to bring to the table. So I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.